Hi, first grade. This lesson is for Unit 4, Week 1, Day 1. Our learning goal today is I can spell and read first grade words with digraphs, bonus letters, and trick words. Let's start with a drill sound warm up. I'm going to say the letter, keyword, and sound, and you echo me. W H whistle woo. C H chin ch. S H ship sh. T H thumb th. C K sock k. Now to review our short vowel sounds. Vowel sounds make short and long sounds. Today we are just practicing the short vowel sounds. I'm going to say the letter, keyword, and sound, and you echo me. A, apple, a. Ah. E, ed, e. Eh. I, itch, i. Eh. O, octopus, aw. Ah. U, up, u. Uh. Good job. So now, boys and girls, we are going to learn something new today. Let me put up a few letters and let's see if we can tap this word out, word out and see what it says. M, I, S. Let's try it one more time. M, I, S. Do you know this word? I bet a bunch of you guessed the word miss, like I miss my mom or I miss my grandma. You'll notice that the S comes after a short vowel. This I sound is the short I sound. Because this is the short I sound, we're going to need another S here. And this is going to make the word miss. This is actually the correct way to spell miss, and I'm going to explain why. Even though there are two S's here, the S only makes one sound. M, I, S. This happens when an S follows a short vowel sound, and it has to be at the end of a word. Let me show you a few other examples so you can understand. But these are called bonus letters. And these only happen with the letters F, L, and S. Here are some examples. K, I, S. Notice I only made one S sound because S is a bonus letter. It comes at the end of the word and it comes after the short vowel sound. So this is the vowel and it's the short I sound and it goes I, K, I, S. Because it's an S and it comes after a short vowel sound, it becomes a bonus letter, so I need two of them. Remember, just because there's two letters still means that it only makes one sound. Let me show you another example. F, uh, s, fuss. Again, I put two S's at the end here because it's at the end of a word and it comes after a short vowel. Can you find the short vowel in this word? Good job, you found the vowel U, and the U sound goes uh, which is the short U sound. Because this is a short vowel sound, and there is an S that comes after it, we are going to use two S's because we know S is one of our bonus letters. The letters F, L, and S are all bonus letters. Here's another, b, i, o. Let's tap it out again, b, i, o. Notice I only did one tap for both L's. That is because, why? You got it. L is a bonus letter. And it also comes after this vowel sound here. And from what I know, this vowel sound has to be what? Yeah, this has to be a short vowel sound. It has to go i, i. B, I, O. Because L is one of my bonus letters, I know that I have to make two L's at the end of my word because 
comes after a short vowel. We will be practicing this a lot over the next few weeks. Here's another. T, e, o. Tell. Can you tell me why I used two L's at the end of the word here? Did you say because it's a bonus letter? Yes, L is a bonus letter. It also comes after a short vowel sound, e, eh, e. Eh. Because it comes at the end of a word and after a short vowel sound, I know that this is a bonus letter and this is the correct way to spell tell. K, uh, f, cuff. Now, I see there are two F's here. Why are there two F's here? Yes, because F is a bonus letter and it comes after a short vowel sound right here. The U is the vowel and it goes uh, uh. So that makes it the short vowel sound. Because it's the short vowel sound and the F comes after it, I have to put two Fs because they are bonus letters. Remember, they only make how many sounds? Yeah, one sound. So instead of going k, uh, f, f, I just say k, uh, f. Okay, so here's another example. Sometimes words with a Z get a bonus letter, and you won't see this very often, but every once in a while you will see that the letter Z gets treated like a bonus letter. B uh, z, buzz. Okay, so now let's talk about marking your bonus letters. We learned last week that we underline digraphs by underlining them right here, like I have in this picture. You draw a little line underneath the digraphs to show that you know that they make one sound and that the sound is a little bit different than we would normally see. We're going to do the same thing with bonus letters. We will mark our words. But we aren't going to underline them because they aren't digraphs. What we're going to do is we are going to draw a star. It's okay if you can't draw a star. Sometimes people just draw little snowflakes on top. Either way, it shows your teacher that you know that that is a bonus letter and it only makes one... Sorry, and it only makes one sound. Let me show you. Remember, bonus letters are F, L, and S. So we spelled the word miss today. Can you point to my bonus letters in this word? I hope you pointed to the two S's at the end of the word because we know F, L, and S are all bonus letters. So to show that I know that this is a bonus letter, I'm going to make a star on the top. So every time you write a bonus letter when we are practicing our spelling, I want you to mark your word by making a star above the bonus letters. Now we're going to play Echo Find Letters. You're going to need your magnetic letter board for this activity. You can hit pause if you need to get it and hit play when you're ready to go. All right, boys and girls, I'm going to say a letter sound or a word and you're going to echo my letter sound and then say the name of the letter. All right, so when you see echo, you have to echo me. Let's get started. <sighs> What letter goes <sighs> Did you say F? Good job. Okay, the next one. Ch. Ch. What letters go Ch? Point to the letter and say it out loud. Good job. Did you say CH? Good job. CH goes Ch. All right, here goes the next one. Qua. Echo me. Qua. What letter says qua? Good job, boys and girls. The answer is Q U. Echo me. What letter goes s? Point to it and say it out loud. Good job. The letter S goes 
Eh. Echo me. Eh. What letter says eh? Point to it on your letter board and say it out loud. Good job. Did you say E? Awesome. All right, so now I'm going to tell you a word. I want When I say the word, I want you to echo with me and then tap it out. Then I'd like you to spell it on your magnetic tile board. Fill. Fill. Echo me. Now let's tap it out. Fill. Fill. Well, I hear a short I sound. I. And then I hear L. What letter goes L? Did you say I? And if you remember anything from this lesson, the letter I is in fact a bonus letter. So you might notice that you have the letter I on your magnetic tile board, and you might have an extra one underneath your tile board. Take a second and spell the word fill. Fill. Okay, boys and girls, here is how I spelled the word fill. I, O. Notice I used my bonus L tile because L is one of our what? What are they called? Yes, bonus letters. So I'm putting my cool star on top. You don't have to do it on your magnetic board though. I just wanted you to see that I knew that this was a bonus letter. Okay, before we finish today, I want you to think about something. What letters are considered bonus letters? There are three different letters that we consider bonus letters. Think about it, and I'll see you tomorrow for our next lesson.